I have locally a couple of testing HTML pages, pages which can be found on my GitHub repo. The flow is simple, we are going to navigate to this page, check the page title, send a sample text to this bio text area, click on submit button and check that this message is displayed. We are going to continue the test implementation from the previous video, so please have a look there to see how we have created this project. Declare a variable and store the URL value. Using Client Builder, we create a native client instance. and connect to the WebDriver session at the WebDriver URL. Now, how do we know the value? Well, we can open a local instance of Chrome driver. To do this, we go here and download a stable Chrome driver. Remember, this version needs to be in sync with your browser version. Depending on the OS you have, select the corresponding version. I have Windows, select this one. Right click on it and select go to option in order to automatically download it. And I'll hype this to the project folder like this. Open a common prompt and type in chromedriver.exe. As you can see, this has started locally on port 9515. Back to VS Code, set the web driver session to localhost with port 9515, as we have seen previously. Because the client functions are async, we will be using a wait keyword in order to sync the operations like connect to the server, navigate to the page, or interact with the web elements. And after a wait, we are going to call a shortcut for panic on errors, which is expect. Next, we navigate to the testing page by calling the go to function. We can also maximize the browser window. In order to make sure we have landed on the correct page, let's get the page title by calling the title function and assert that the actual page title equals the expected page title, which is web form. Next, let's see how we can find the web element, which is the bio text area. Here we call find function and pass the locator. Let's see which locator we can use here. Inspect the element, and as you can see, this element has an ID with value bio, so let's use this in our test. After we have identified the bio text area, we can call the sendKids function to send a text value, like this. Next, we want to click on the submit button. So, do the same, inspect the element and check the attributes. Here, let's use an expat with the text function. Similar, call the client, find and pass the expect locator this time. And now we can use the submit button and call the click function. Finally, we have to identify this success message and this time let's use a CSS locator just like this. To get the actual message, use the message element and call the text function. Next, we want to check that the actual message equals the expected message. So copy this message and add it to our test. And finally, don't forget to call the close function in order to terminate the WebDriver session. 
Before running the test, make sure the Chrome driver is up and running. First, we run the test from VS Code. Just click here on this link and the test execution is starting. For your information, I will slow down the execution speed here so we can have a look what is happening. Or we can go to the terminal and under the project folder type in cargo space test. And that's it. We have created the first test with Rust and Fantocini. And if you want to see how we can programmatically handle that choose your search engine dialog, go ahead and check the next video in the playlist. Thank you for your time and see you in the next one. Bye.